Hello everybody, uh, today let's uh, quickly look at the method uh, for bearing for detection using a uh, model best method. And let's see, uh, this is test facility, so uh, it's an electric motor uh, with a shell. With, uh, at the end you can apply different load and you can add impulse uh, s signal or impact to the bearing uh, shelf and the accelerometer mounted on the shell can detect the uh, the change uh, the vibration signal will be uh, recorded uh, by the data acquisition system and then the data uh, uh, was uh, analyzed using uh, FFT so it's transformed from uh, time series into the frequency domain uh, here we show just the uh, mass spring model, so uh, mass spring initial model to uh, model the bearing system using uh, this type of model uh, process. And let's go through. So this vibration data we do a uh, uh, Fourier transform, and we have the uh, magnitude versus frequency. And then we uh, identify the uh, natural frequency, the highest natural frequency, and uh, uh, and then we model that uh, as transfer function. And here, since this is only model from the uh, uh, magnitude uh, frequency relationship, uh, the phase information uh, is missing supposedly, and. So this transfer function uh, was then uh, uh, changed into uh, the state space model uh, in this format. So this uh, uh, the state, and there's the input, uh, and this this is y of the output. So, and then this uh, just compare how we can use the model to regenerate the. the uh, the data and this figure compare compares the simulate response and the experiment data so this is simulation this experiment so uh, this is this is pretty close in magnitude but we still see we miss something so as uh, a model basket capture most of the information uh, and then uh, we design uh, the model best for detection filter, and uh, but since we consider there's the face information uh, as not considered in modeling, so we we add a sign signal with certain frequencies to approximate, and uh, um, also the when we generate residue, uh, we use the the same uh, signing signal, but with again here. Uh, and then, so for this one, uh, we can uh, use the frequency of 0 0.075 Hz and alpha uh, is 1.34 to help us uh, to uh, match the, uh, the, the, the vibration signal right, with the simulation signal and the residual will be reduced to zero so uh the, the interesting thing is uh, this alpha which is applied to uh with the signing signal of a selected frequency and we know the missing part is a signal with a spectrum of uh, signals and why we can represent this with a, a sign signal with a signal frequency to approximate uh, if you have any idea, uh, you can comment. And so we generate uh, this residual, uh, this model with uh, residual uh, zero when the science signal is applied. And so uh, the model can be used to approximate the normal model. And then we feed the, uh, the, 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 the defected uh, 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 bearing a test model uh, one is with universe for the other word uh, is with the ball for so that went past the 
the, the filter uh, with uh, the, the parameter set for normal and we see the residual. So the detection is uh, 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 realized this way. Uh, further, we're going to talk about how we can use a different value of alpha to separate the, uh, the, the scenario with different load apply and how we can separate the inverse forward and, uh, and uh, ball forward. Yeah. So if you have any comments, so, uh, please uh, uh, leave in the comment area. So.